Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minuteman. And today, we're going to learn about absolute value equations, and we're going to solve each equation. So, if I was given this equation, absolute value of 7 plus p equals good old 7. Well, first thing is, I have to look and see, is the absolute value isolated? And it is. It's by itself on one side of the equation. So now I can split this into two problems. 7 plus p equals a positive 7. And 7 plus p, what's inside the absolute value, equals a negative 7. We take what's the number right here, make a positive and negative. And so now we can solve each one individually. So I'm going to subtract a 7 on both sides here. Leave me with just p equals 0, right? Because 7 minus 7 is 0. And here I subtract a 7 on both sides, but in this case here, p equals negative 7 minus 7 is negative 14. And so our final answer is p equals negative 14 and 0. Okay? And I write the, the, the smaller number first. Okay? So let's recap. We started with the absolute value of 7 plus p equals 7. The absolute value, once it's isolated, I could break apart into two equations, having 7 plus p equals positive 7 and 7 plus p equals a negative 7. I then solved each equation individually, leaving me with p equals 0 here, and this one being p equals negative 14. And so my final answer, writing out uh, the smallest number to the largest number, is p equals negative 14 and 0.